You're just a water flow monitor? Okay. Oh, yeah. Just a water flow monitor. And I see structural problems from here. That's just a bridge being up, so it's not really relevant, I think. It actually can be surprisingly hard to find cement problems because the uh, surroundings are... Like, the cement the cement every, everywhere is, like, so textured. I assume it's, like, moss or something because of all the water content. It would appear I'm getting uh, jack all done here, though. Though I wish I had poked my head in here sooner. Well, I could try these. Seems unresponsive. Ooh. This strikes me as something careful about a little bit. Press every button. Elevator. What could go wrong? I don't think anything's currently responding to me. Huh. So you have to press the correct E's, it looks like. What happens if I do sluice one up E two? Sluice two down E four five. That just goes right in the water, somewhere. And you connect to the... this guy? Oh! Got you. Wait, was that STU? Because the yellow does... connect from that cable to that door. Oh, and then blue goes through here. Robin, don't climb on that roof again. You have to boss me, Dad. That bridge isn't coming, though. Where is that board from? <laughs> it was like collapsed. It looks like collapsed cement or plaster, and then there's like a board in here and stuff. I just don't see where it's coming from. Now it goes back. You could trap someone here. I must have I must have something right and something wrong here. That appears to be SD2. Oh right, because I have it set to up. And I want it to be set to down. So S1 down is E1. I, I, I picked two things that just arbitrarily from the list to just try doing. To see, and, and from opposite spectrums of the list, just to see what effect they have in the surrounding. So we're on S1D and S2D, which is E145. Not encouraging. I might have to press the button from the other side, maybe? Might have to put a pin in that one. What if I remove four and five? Now that we're kind of done with it. So S one D E one. And 
No. I think I'm gonna move on for now. Just because I'm curious to see, as we move forward through the area, if it'll become more usable. It might- it might work better from the other side. I kinda wanna recheck the map just to see if I recognize the whole thing better now, as a result. Nope. I've covered a surprising amount of ground, haven't I? I forgot about the unnerving sound of water flowing that's only here. Basically. The door one doesn't work. Gonna have to figure that out. Maybe he won't photograph it because he plans on figuring it out. So, doors don't appear to be labeled, generally. The general lack of labels in the doors kind of limits my understanding a little bit of where I am, but and also I can't highlight with my mat with my mouse to show you guys what I'm talking about. So you have to just try to find the spot. But uh, top center, you can see the pipe room. So that's that's got to be the room where I was actually uh, where I found the, the the pipe that needs to be caulked. And then just below that, you can see there's a block a block in the middle of the water that has two bridges going to it. So it's probably where I just was. Playing with the, uh, the bridges there. It, there's a long hallway attached to door controls. Is that where I am right now? Broken freight elevator. Elevator to the surface. This tunnel's in very bad condition. I'm still surprisingly bad at figuring out where I am on this map. Um, I mean, we're on the same side of the canal as the pipe room, so we've got to be on the top side, not the bottom side, despite thinking we were in the office right now. This is not the office. So this has to be the- yeah, this has to be the door controls room, right? So I walk along that long hallway in the middle of the screen when I go to pipe room and the other place. So then the broken freight elevator and everything else is like right here with me. Right. Door is bricked. Locked door on the left, no idea what's behind it. Broken freight elevator. As far as I can tell, that's the broken freight elevator and that's the blocked door with no idea what's behind it. Yeah. And then... That should make the bricked door be right there. Okay, now I know where I am. So this door, door 220. What should I think that is? It's like, not on the map? Oh, it's that, uh... It's that little, like, Tetris block-looking thing up next to the flooded door. That's, like, the closed-off area we don't have access to. Because of that door being red, but we don't know what it is yet. And then, yeah, exit points to where we started. So we did- we did- we actually started on the right, is, is how we got in here in the first place. And I've gone left all the way down to the pipe room. And then I've also went further down the hallway to that circled bridge that says floodgates. Some of the buttons don't work and the floodgates are in very bad condition. That, so that circle on the far left, that's how far we made it before I turned back to double check on the the, the uh, office in the middle of the bridges area. But did anything change up here as far as which doors were open? That's still red. That's the, that's the, that's the one detail more or less. Alright, so we're actually pretty- we seem to be relatively far along in this area, actually. But this is the great long hallway on the map, the longest hallway of them all. 
is the one you cross, like, almost immediately. So it might not have actually been helpful, and it may not actually hit, uh, guide our actions very much as we go forward, but I have at least now located myself on the map and can say that much. And we'll see how... if that ever actually helps us navigate. I fixed the water flow thing, but I likely have not fixed this area at all. I think the other water flow measure we found was uh, the first thing we did in the entire game, I think. At the very beginning. He's like, this shouldn't have been off or something like that. I think is what he said. That's the note. And so we are returned. Yeah, I'm not actually as convinced that I missed these. I think these just there was just a sudden spike of them right here. Alright. Now I get to be nervous again about the fact that you seem to, to be interested in closing behind me. Yeah, don't be under the the flo the door while it's closing. It may cause serious injury or death. Well, better find that crank if I ever want to leave. My very my character is very nonchalant about his apparent entombment. Maybe he's just like, ah, I can just jump in the water and swim, right? Current doesn't look that fast. It actually would probably be too strong. And you'd be end up going that way, and I'm not entirely sure where that way is. Okay. What? No. Heard a sound. Was a little worried out by that. Floodgates A1, A2, emergency override. Dax is the floor. Flood door control panel while floodgates must be open. If the alarm sounds, the emergency override can be used to manually open floodgates A1 and A2. Is this B1 and B2 on this side? Yep. So you can emergency override them to make sure they open if you need to. Oh. None of these doors have their cranks. Not even one of them. Flood doors alarm control panel. I'm alarmed how the freaking control panel is uh, blocked for me. Maybe it only opens during an alarm, but I wouldn't really trust that kind of mechanism to always work in this kind of situation, which might be why we have these emergency overrides. Because I might actually be in some danger. I'm not spotting cement problems. Or structural problems, really. To take photos of. Oh, A1, and then what, B2 is broken? No, B B1's broken. Uh. This is A1. And s- Oh! Oh! Fuck! This ceiling is coming down. Uh. I have to get these doors open. Okay, well that's bad. Let's use this guy. I'm gonna die now. Come on. Come on. Emergency override. Gotta stop looking away from when I'm holding B. I mean, when I'm holding E, because it'll like. It'll stop turning it. Go, go, go. Alarm stopped. <laughs> ah! Ah! No, bad. That's bad. Uh, how do I open these doors, though? Oh, this is how I die. Okay. I'm gonna die now. Wow, this whole place is gonna come down. Uh... This is a problem. I do believe I just died. Just pull on it really hard till it comes off. I need a crank so I can not die. What? Am I supposed to use that? 
Let's try ourselves an experiment. <laughs> Take that, Source Engine. How do you plead? Aha! Now I just need to use my superhuman strength to pick the door back up, and I'll be free. I just need a big box or something. Can I put something, like, big in front of the door? This one doesn't work. I just straight up died. There's so many handles available. Where was the, where was the one handle that I manually added? Actually, was it this one? I don't immediately remember which one it was, but uh, kind of want to just pick it up and you know use that in here. So did I miss something about my surroundings here? There's these guys. I can't pull them now. That door, that one's normally up. But if I pull this one, it breaks and then they both go down broken. That apparently causes the ceiling to collapse and kill me. I'm not convinced that opening these was even helpful. What can I do differently? Is the... Why is only one of these doors supposed to open? Interesting. Neither of these work right now. There's a panel in here. <laughs> Code 0451. Ah, uh, of course. It opens B3. Of course, code 0451 would come up in this game. All right. Yep. All right. But this panel didn't open. What opens it exactly? The alarm. But I made the alarm stop. Was that a bad thing? Should I let- should I have gone to that while the alarm was on? Maybe that- maybe that was my mistake. I'll try again. Danger Will Robinson. Danger Will Robinson. Um, how do open, open, open? Hey, dude, it's not opening. I think this is the right call. But there must be something else I'm missing. You guys having a very dangerous day. I hope he gets hazard pay. Do any of these doors really work? Like at all? No. Duh. To access flood door control panel, all flood guys must be open. But it's not open. Also, that's leaking. Like, this isn't gonna work, because I can't get all floodgates to be open, because two of them are broken right now. Which means opening that's kind of pointless, because the water's not even flowing through. And so we're going to die. Oh, does the debris build up so I can get out? No, I don't think so. For a second I thought it was gonna build up so I could, go, like, climb out the ceiling or something. I mean, at some point you should just jump, out, jump over, as opposed to deal with this problem. Oh, shit. It suddenly is working. Oh, I died. Um... Okay. When did that open? 
I looked at it and it wasn't open, then I looked back at it and it was open, I'm like, I didn't... Maybe the first time the ceiling freaks out, it opens? Maybe. Am I crazy? That was closed. And then it suddenly wasn't closed. Huh. Maybe in one of the later times that the ceiling freaks out, it, like, Fuck. breaks the Someone other... The other ones? I have to get these doors open. I'll open whatever ones I can, because opening some of them... Uh, the, re the requirement is to open all of them, and so I'll open the two I can open, and maybe when that other shit happens, the other ones are opening too? Weirdly? But I'll just... I'll pull both cranks and press both buttons, and then... Photograph while I wait. Come on. Got it. It's not open yet. That doesn't open it either. I think that's it. Collapsed ceiling, other thing. But does it open right now? Wait. No, no, wait. Waiting is bad. I would like to, I would like to stop dying now. Uh, that's problem. Please open. Uh, is that when they fall? Ah, uh, there. Uh, oh, four, five, one. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Heek. I'm alive. That was way too close. Danger. I'm alive now, I assume. Oh, okay. That was a bad time. Oh, I'm calling an elevator. Uh, am I done here or not, though? I'm paranoid about, like, did I finish what I was supposed to do, or did I have to do something different with that... that elevator back there? Is this a new chapter? I'm guessing the elevator is going to stop working up. Going to have to photograph that. All right, we're not getting back down there, huh? So if I wanted to do anything else down there, I need to probably load a different save to go back. Maybe, if there was anything else to do back there. Ah, you taunt me, you know that. Hey look, it's all the ones you needed. There they are. Oh, I didn't... Secret loading screens. I wasn't ready. Is this chapter four? Or a different part of the map for the same chapter? Do I walk backwards a little bit? Do I get hit with another loading screen? Oh, so this door doesn't open. Berkman. Let's establish a new save. Four. So I can go back to three to the pre-elevator, I believe. I think I saved right before. The elevator, I hope. Depends on whether or not auto saves override your manual saves or not. Alive. And free. Survive. Okay, so new area. Same chapter, it would appear. But new area. Anywhere I recognize? I don't think I've been there yet.
Is that my car? My car was like blocking a passageway, so I don't think that's my car. That might be somebody else's. Okay. I'm so I'm gonna use that save I just made. Or yeah. I'm gonna load back. And he might, I might not even show this because there might not be anything to show, but I'm gonna see if I can find anything else to do but before I leave. What was that? There was keys in there? Uh, keys to what? Keys to what? Keys to what? Is it keys to you? Good. Good, because that would be disappointing. I mean, keys could work for multiple doors, but it'd be disappointing if it was the shortcut door, as opposed to something new. Could they be keys to the office? Oops, can't crouch. Could they be keys to this office door I couldn't open? They're not. I still need to double check to see if there's another way to get you to open. Don't climb on the roof. Oh. Huh? Huh? I can climb up there, can't I? That's where you're getting at, right? Can I pick up the chair or the pallet? I might be able to climb if I use like a, oh. Okay. Hitting save slot three real quick. Oh, I have to tell it to go back up. Uh, this was one, right? Two, one. Two up is three. I mean, it went up and down both ways, didn't it? Maybe I should be doing UD. Maybe I should be doing UD. The 345? Maybe the other ones refer to other doors instead. Ah. But you worked like this, right? How did I how did I make you work before? And which gate were you for that matter? That was what I had last time that worked. Have I not understood this this entire time? I thought I did something. So I think what I need to do is I need to raise this and then I can jump onto the building while it's going up. But I can't get it to go up anymore. But I had it, right? You were down and you were up and it was two, three, four. Did I? Oh. Well, like I stumbled on a solution without even under I guess with maybe even not even understanding what it meant. Now I'm trapped here, so careful. That's probably bad for the system. <laughs> oh, it's not even a file. 
I thought this was a file because it looks like an envelope with the the, pe the piece of cardboard or whatever folded over. It's just more beer. Um. Well, I've uh, got myself in a predicament. I think this only works as a solution if I can get that to go down. If I can't get that to go down, then it's a moot point because then I just get trapped. But I think if that door doesn't open, what I could do is I could raise this and jump over it while this is happening. And then if that's down, then I can just walk over there and go check out D2, I guess. But until then, I'm screwed. And also now I'm going to die. Interesting death animation, isn't it? So basically the puzzle involves figuring out how to open the other door. Which I apparently still don't understand. So this one, so the button toggles both functions, so making that lever go up or down is not part how you make it go up or down. Why does up, down, two, five, six get what I want? What do I do? Down, up, one, three? Does that just magically invert this? Yes, it does. Okay. Do I fully understand the system? No. Did I find an answer? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I will accept that I have accomplished something, technically. Gonna have to make some very careful saves to make sure I don't get trapped like this. <laughs> 